Okay, first things first, we have to take the covers off. So, if anybody who's been to class, you know, there's two screws up here, screws down here. Already taking those off. So we just take these covers off. Then any cables connected here or here, we're obviously gonna have to take this cable off. Then we're gonna have to take this box out. So we take the, the uh, drive shaft cables here off, and then these Allen's here, we're gonna lo loosen those and lift them up so we can actually pull the box out. Okay, now our base is out. I've already taken the liberty of taking all the screws off. So when we take this off, this is obviously the front cover and this black gasket right here, that's the gasket that you would have to replace. Now right here, if we lift these up. This is the power drive card. The two motors are connected to this, so obviously we need to disconnect these. When you reconnect them, make sure we get them back in the correct slots. The wires are labeled A motor and B motor, A slot and B slot. So this is the power drive card. This is the servo, servo CPU board. And then on the other side, down in the base, where these boards connect, that is the interconnect board. To replace the motor, this one is the A side motor, this one is the B side motor. You'll notice the two Allens right here. Just unscrew those two Allens, the motor drops out, put the new motor back in, reconnect everything. Same thing for the B side, but to replace the B side motor, you would have to flip this around, remove this plate, and then um, that gives you access, better access to the B-side motor. Now for the other side, I've already taken the liberty of taking all the screws out. So you lift this up, a few wires you have to disconnect, the battery, battery connector, and then connectors for the other, the other side for the other connectors for the A-side and B-side motor. Again, they're, they're, connect, they're, they're labeled, the wires are labeled, connectors labeled, make sure you put everything back together the way you found them. Here's the gasket on the other side that you would have to replace. And again, this is the interconnect board.